the inescapable fact of human existence is you eat or you die. According to the United Nations, to meet demand for the world's ever-increasing population growth, global food production must double by 2050. Ironically, our population growth was made possible by the productivity of industrial farming. That productivity is, however, an illusion. The food it produces is at the expense of dwindling resources and relies heavily on fossil fuels, industrial poisons, soil degradation and aquifer exhaustion. As such, it is now unsustainable. The world faces some serious challenges in meeting the UN target. Desertification, soil salinity, erosion, water pollution, aquifer depletion, drought and climate change. In the face of our exploding population, these issues place the world's ability to feed itself under extreme threat and the world needs to find ways of growing more food with less damage to our resources and environment. More food for less water, less soil, less fertilizer. The world needs Integrated Aquavegiculture System or IAVS for short. Developed in the 1980s in America and Africa by Dr. Mark McMurtry, IAVS was investigated by some of the United States' most prominent food production researchers and is actually the progenitor of what was to be labeled as aquaponics. The investigation was published extensively and peer-reviewed, becoming the subject of a highly successful USDA-funded commercial-scale trial, which was created and operated exclusively by total novices in both aquaculture and horticulture. IAVS is a simple but ingenious process of producing fish and vegetables in a symbiotic system. And the very essence of the system is that water containing the metabolic waste from fish farming is filtered and cleaned through sand beds called biofilters. The fish waste fertilizes and irrigates the sand bed, enabling edible plants to be grown in them. This cycle of filtering fish waste to feed plant growth can be repeated up to 300 times, meaning each unit of water can be reused up to 300 times, so for each cubic meter of water available to a grower, they effectively have 300 times that. This makes IAVS the most water-efficient food production system on Earth. The sand used is not only an excellent mechanical and biological filtration media, but it also plays host to soil microbiology that converts the fish waste into plant food sufficient to meet the plant's nutrient needs without further supplementation. IAVS is a solution to our shortage of water, soil and over-reliance on industrial agriculture. IAVS has the potential to feed the world on ever-dwindling resources and IAVS produce is organic. IAVS is scalable from family subsistence farms to horticultural greenhouses. In terms of productivity, using IAVS in a plot about the size of an automobile parking space, a family of four could grow 200 kilograms of freshwater fish and 1,400 kilograms of fresh organic fruit and vegetables annually. What's more, IAVS uses far less water and energy than other food production systems. At 7 kilocalories of food per litre of water, the produce of IAVS is 4 to 7,000 times more water efficient than corn grown in America. Now, in 2016, the challenges that prompted the development of IAVS are more pressing than ever. Population growth poses significant threats to food security at the same time, environmental degradation means our ability to produce food is under ever-increasing threat. IAVS is among the most productive, sustainable, resilient food production systems anywhere. It can make a major contribution to food security with none of the destructive impact arising from industrial farming methods. IAVS is scalable, its produce is organic, and it can be done with almost no technology. It truly does work. 
If you're a backyard gardener or subsistence farmer looking for more food from less water, IAVS will work for you. If you're a large horticultural business looking to increase production and lower costs, IAVS will work for you. If you're a government struggling with water shortages and high food imports, IAVS will work for you. If you're an NGO or charity trying to help marginal communities solve their food shortages on limited budgets, IAVS will work for you. To learn more about how IAVS works and what it can do for you, go to our website www.iavs.info or join us on Facebook.